today. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Cool Dan. Um, yes, we all know I vape. I am rocking something a little bit new today. I have my uh, one of a kind ACM custom mods, uh, Apex custom mods, uh, DNA 200, 250, something like that. 250, I believe. Uh, I'm just so excited I have it, so <laughs> tech specs be damned. Uh, but yes, I have new mod. But that's beside the point. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Well, we always do something a little bit different. It's fun. We want to keep it exciting, keep it something different. So today is going to be a breakfasty video because it's different. Something I haven't done, haven't done on video before, but something I enjoy, and something that I think a lot more people would do at home if they had if you realize just how easy it actually is. We are doing biscuits with sausage gravy and eggs today. So breakfast for dinner because why not so we will go over how to make your sausage gravy I'm making biscuits in the air fryer because yeah my oven shot <laughs> so I went to use the oven today and it said oh hell no it gave up the ghost so fortunately the stovetop still works and I have an air fryer so we're still on track I would have been a little annoyed if I couldn't because um, yeah I got all the supplies for this and yeah but anyway, so let's get to it. Let's make some biscuits and sausage gravy and have a good time doing it. So here we go. Okay, I got some Pillsbury Grands. I missed a spot cleaning on my air fryer. I see that. Uh, Pillsbury Grands, the nice thing is Pillsbury on their website actually gives you instructions how to do these in an air fryer. Um, does not say it on here, but I do have their website pulled up on my phone so we can reference it should we need to. Uh, they recommend putting parchment paper in the air fryer basket before you start. I am clean out of parchment paper, which I did not know when I was at the store today. There we go. So we are going to kind of run with this. First of all, even though my interior is non-stick, I am going to do a quick spray. Quick. They recommend putting four at a time in. So let me see how that fits. One, two, three, four. Okay, four fits in here. Now, as far as cooking them, we're going to set our air fryer to 320 degrees for six minutes. Three twenty. Six minutes. Once you do them for six minutes, it says flip them and cook for five to seven minutes more. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Now, while I've got my biscuits starting. I'm going to start cooking down my sausage as well. I chose a breakfast sausage for this. I find it tends to give me the best flavor, or at least what we like. But you can use pretty much any sausage you like. I mean, if you like biscuits, if you want sausage gravy that's got some kick to it, use hot sausage. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, because breakfast sausage tends to come in the casings like this, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to squeeze it out. Or you're going to cut them open. It really doesn't matter either way. But, let's see, there we go. Once you get it going, you want to make sure you get all that sweet sausage, well, savory sausage, or whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure you get all that sausage goodness out of there. There we go. Yes, yeah, it looks a little funny, doesn't it? But, in the long run, totally worth it. I did look to see if they had uncased sausage, or just, you know, loose sausage there, but unfortunately today was not the day for loose sausage at the store. Uh, how much sausage you want to cook is really going to depend on how many people you're cooking for, but 
Sausage gravy is something you can throw in the fridge and reheat the next day too, so eh, you can never make too much in my opinion. And honestly, when you're doing it this way, you might as well cook a bunch of it so you got some. Now, just because we want to be representative here, if you want to do the cut it open method, just take a sharp knife, slide it along the casing, and just peel the casing off. Now I'm going to, as per standard, I will montage the rest of these. Okay, all the sausage is in there. We're starting to cook the sausage down. And you want to make sure your sausage is fully cooked. So I'm just kind of stirring it around. And the air fryer just beat at me, so we're going to be pulling those biscuits out and flipping them here in a second, too. There we go. A little bit of a stir up. Toss that. Okay, wipe the hands off. There we go, those biscuits are looking pretty nice. So I'm now going to flip them over. We do see a little bit of an indent on the bottom from the rack, but that's okay. So I flipped them over and I'm going to put them in for another five minutes on 320. Okay, now I'm just going to continue cooking this down, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, our biscuits are done. As you can see, we've got some nice, beautiful golden brown biscuits. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Which, which side is the top? You guess. So anyway, I'm going to put the rest of my biscuits in. So once again, a generous spray. We do one, two, three, and four. And my sausage is still cooking down here. 320 degrees. Six minutes. Now, oops, let me grab a... Because I'm doing this for meal prep, I can spare one of these. Nice and fluffy and flaky on the inside. I'll slap a little butter on that. Yes, real butter, not the fake stuff. <laughs> because real dairy does the body good. I'm going to slap this top back on here. Fresh Grand's Biscuits. Mmm. Perfect. Now, we're starting to get where we need to be with our sausage. You want it to be well cooked. You want to see it starting to get nice and brown. And crumble down nice to nice small crumbles. Now, I do have my heat on about a medium, a little above a medium. On a scale of low to high with a 1 to 10 in the middle, I'm on a 6-ish. So, there we go. This has got a few more minutes of cooking, okay. so I'll be right back. Sausage is nicely browned down. Now comes the next part. Now, some people look at you funny when you do this. This is granulated sugar. I'm literally sprinkling a little bit of sugar in there. Adds just a touch of sweetness to it. To it. Uh, need my measuring cup. 
Now, the only reason I'm getting a measuring cup out is to help me transport the flour from the bag to the pan. I got about a half a cup of sugar in here. I'm going to kind of sprinkle it over. Now I'm going to stir that in. Let it soak up that juice. Now, I usually get a lean sausage, so it doesn't have a ton of fat in it. But, that's entirely up to you which kind of sausage you get. And yes, I dribbled some melted butter onto my shirt. Okay, now that that's pretty well soaked up, we're going to add some milk. And some more flour. Essentially, sausage, milk, and flour. That's your sausage gravy. We're going to stir this around. We turned the heat down. I've got it down on about a four right now. And if it gets thick, we just add some. Oops. Add some more milk. It's a cool dad cookie. We do, we don't measure. You put a pinch of this and a dash of that. And our next round of biscuits are ready to be turned over. Okay, so this is kind of thick still, so I'm going to add some more milk. And here's the neat thing, is that you make it too thick, add some more milk. Too thin, Cook it for a little bit longer, it'll thicken up. Because food is good. Food is life, life is good. There we go. I'll get it figured out eventually. Now, I'm just going to kind of stir this around. I want to get it all incorporated together. And the dogs hate the dog clock. Okay, so we're almost there. Add some more milk. Oops. You want it to be thick enough to be gravy, but thin enough to move, if that makes sense. <laughs> if it doesn't make sense, just keep washing. There we go. Now I want to make sure I'm not leaving any gravy behind. So we get a nice even consistency here. Ooh, that looks good. Just a touch more milk in there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've never tried doing this with anything other than regular good old fashioned 2% milk from a cow. If you have a thing against dairy, I don't know how well soy milk or almond milk or any of those are going to work, to be quite frank. There we go. Okay. Let me flip our biscuits real quick. Today's going to be actually a fairly quick episode, it looks like. This is a nice thing you can do for pretty much any meal. And... Total prep time is fairly minimal. There we go. So, I mean, realistically speaking, it's a nice thing you can do. There we go. Feed everybody. Something different. I'm going to do just a little bit more milk because I want to loosen it up a little bit. I'm going to turn my heat right off. Just a little bit. There we go. So what I'm going to do is take this off the heat now. Nice. There we go. Now, in true Italian style, you get your starting point. Mmm. Very good. So, because I prefer sea salt. 
We're going to put in a little bit of sea salt. We're going to put in some black pepper. And whatever other seasonings you feel are good there. With just a touch of onion salt. And bam. Stir that all in. And there we have our sausage gravy. Now, there we go. Make sure it's well stirred. We'll come back to that in a minute. Get our other pan here. Now, because I'm making this for uh, several dishes, well, three dishes really, I'm going to do six eggs here. Leave it. Whoa. Okay. In case you couldn't tell, I missed the trash can. There's four. Five. Six. Okay, now, shame to leave that little milk in there. Yum, milk does the body good. We've got our heat back up, and because everything else is well seasoned, I don't need to do much with the eggs. Just scramble them. Some people add milk to the eggs. I'm hit or miss on that. For this, I'm not going to add the milk. There's already plenty of milk in there. Okay. Close those up. The white counter, I almost didn't see that. Little piece of shell. Now, generous spray of Miss Pam. Put our first round of eggs. Oh. Mm. Perfect. So we're going to cook our eggs, and when I come back, we'll get everything put in its proper dishes so it's meal prep for okay. the rest of the week. My second batch of eggs is almost done here. As you can see, I've already started putting it together. Um, basically three meals worth here now what I do is I take two biscuits open them up put them face up in the bowl uh, and then put some eggs on top of them now, this is almost done now again just scrambled eggs bust an egg mess it up with a fork throw it in the pan let it cook nothing fancy There we are, and that's all set. So, come back over here, put some there, put a few more eggs over here, put the rest over here. There we go. Put that in the sink. Now, you don't have to do this part, this is what I do. And it, I've seen people put all sorts of crazy stuff on biscuits and sausage gravy with scrambled eggs. I'm just going to add some shredded cheese. There we go. A little bit of shredded cheese on there. There we are. I have seen people put sour cream, salsa, all sorts of crazy stuff on here. Now, sausage gravy time. Some generous dollops of sausage gravy on here. I'll tell you, you can get this at a restaurant, but nothing ever quite beats homemade. There we go. Nice thing is I can pop these in the fridge. Then in the morning, well technically one of these is gonna be dinner. 
But in the morning, just pop it in the microwave and bam, I got biscuits and sausage gravy for breakfast. This is a whole new meaning to meal prep. <laughs> There we are. Let me pop this in the sink and add some water. And while that's watering up, boom, we've got three rounds of biscuits and sausage gravy ready to roll. One, two, And three. Bam. Just like that. Okay, I'll be back. We're going to come back up top and we'll finish this off. Okay, guys. So that was biscuits and sausage. Biscuits and sausage, gravy and eggs. I mean, pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. But I will tell you, the first time I ever made this recipe, I was impressed by how easy it was. Actually, I was surprised by how easy it was. Because for years, it was um, only when I went out to eat. It wasn't something I realized I could make at home. So that's why I wanted, one of the reasons why I picked this one for today, is I wanted to show you guys that you can do this at home. You can do this yourself. You can impress the hell out of your friends and family by making them biscuits and sausage gravy. If you want to take it a step further and make homemade biscuits from scratch, go for it. I, again, I was debating, but... I want to try and make these as easy as possible for you guys to work with because that way it's something that, oh, hey, I got to throw food together, something quick and easy to do because food is life, life is good. Welcome to being Italian. Now, sorry, allergy season's still going hard. Okay, not sneezing. Uh, quick shout out to Apex Custom Mods. Beautiful work. This is freaking artistry. They're on Facebook. You can find them. Um, Definitely worthwhile if you vape. Uh, number two shout out, uh, Flavors of the Dragon for Vape Liquid, um, the, the juice. Uh, just got my order in from them today. Awesome stuff. This is what happens when you have dogs. <laughs> but I, I, things have settled a little bit, at least in our region of the country here. But in other regions, they're not so settled. And... During a conversation yesterday, we came to the conclusion that we can't start healing until we stop hating. And I, as many years as I spent on an ambulance, I will tell you this. When you were put in my ambulance, it didn't matter what color your skin was. It didn't matter what invisible person in the sky you believed in. It didn't matter who you loved. Your treatment was identical. The protocols I followed didn't relate to skin tone, didn't relate to gender identity, didn't relate to religion, or anything else for that matter. And I think that's a lesson a lot of people need to realize is that we are much more alike than we are different. The, and, and the more we can understand that, the more we can stop hating other people for our perceived differences, and then the healing can really begin. Until then though, it's, it's an endless cycle. It's a very frustrating endless cycle at that. So, I just, I, I can't. I, it's very frustrating to watch this go on because there's no need for it. Is there, again, the peaceful protests? Go for it. I have no issue with those whatsoever. That's your First Amendment right. It's when you start looting and rioting and burning, that's when you're breaking the law. And that's a line that shouldn't be crossed right now. Killing police officers in cold blood shouldn't be crossed. No. It saddens me to see the condition this country is in right now. It truly does. And I think that we have the potential to be so much more. In this country right now, yes, we need to make some changes. And you know what? Once we do that, this country will be able to do amazing things. And I, I say this every week to you, the individual, but here's the thing. If we, if we as individuals all make these changes, we come together and agree that as a group we need to make these changes, and we do, and we move forward, this country can just do such amazing things. We have such amazing potential here. 
There's so many different people from so many different backgrounds who know so many different things that we could just, we could do so much. But we can't start the healing until we stop the hating. So folks, get some people together, make some food, sit down, talk, stop hating, start healing, because remember, food is life and life is good. Let's eat some more and I'll catch you next time.